Keep it together. Good evening, welcome, and thank you. Thank you for your support of and trust in me. My name is Jason Gottlieb, and it is my true honor and great privilege to serve this faculty and staff, students and families, the donors, and this community as MJDS board president. I would like to invite current board members present this evening to please rise. In addition, I would like to invite all past board presidents to stand. Finally, would all past board members please join your colleagues? Please join me in a round of applause. Thank you for all that you do and your service. To our amazing donors, those who are with us this evening and those unable to join us, your extraordinary generosity and unwavering support is the fuel that enables MJDS to thrive. Please join me in thanking all those who make this inspiring endeavor possible. <laughs> to our incredible faculty and staff, current and former, our gratitude is unending. For 37 years, you have led and engaged, taught and developed, inspired and loved our greatest treasures, our children. The return on your extraordinary investment is the exceptional work and impact all of those who you have influenced and shaped. We collectively are and will always be grateful. Thank you. And to my fellow shepherds of these future leaders, parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, and guardians alike, your sacrifice is your dedication, your advocacy, and your love is immeasurable, both in output and impact for and for it, all of you deserve our sincerest thanks. Now on a personal note, don't worry, I'm not gonna cry, I think. This is pretty, uh, a pretty significant graduation for our family. <clears throat> MJDS over the last 10 and a half years has been our family. It has been a source of friends for Talia, Josh, Levi, Karen, and me. MJDS has taught us and shaped us, loved us, and given each of us the space to be Jewish in our unique ways. We've celebrated and we've cried together. We've succeeded and failed together. We've led and we've followed, and we've deeply engaged one another with wonder and empathy in a collective effort to positively impact the world. I'm not sure what fall of 2019 will feel like when we don't roll up or I guess in our case now, walk up to the star door, greeted by the cheer, love, and smiles of the most caring, loving staff ever. But I know this, MJDS, you will live in the deepest chambers of our hearts, and we are forever grateful and will forever champion your purpose. Yesterday at the graduation assembly for the eighth graders at MJDS, the class as a whole was recognized for living MJDS values of empathy, wonder, and tikkun alum. Students were acknowledged individually for their abilities to lead, succeed, and engage the world around them, here locally, in Israel, and beyond. What struck me most was the collective tenacity and energy emanating from this group of young leaders. Their willingness to iterate, their braving to fail, their capacity to collaborate, and their unabashed love and support of one another, like a family. They're simply extraordinary. Speaking of family, this class was introduced 
in preparation for their capstone experience in Israel, Yossi Klein Halevi's book, Letters to My Palestinian Neighbor. I happen to have received the book as a gift from a dear friend and my mentor about the same time that the students did. So I took the opportunity to read it alongside the class. Side note, if you haven't read it, read it. Halevi provides a variety of perspectives on the matter of Israel, from narrative to presence, to from six days to 50 years, Itzhak to Ishmael, victims and survivors. In the chapter titled, Fate and Destiny, Halevi teaches, the Jews began as family. 4,000 years ago, Abraham and Sarah founded a dynasty that became a people and a faith. But family, a basic sense of belonging to a community of fate, regardless of your religious or political beliefs, has remained at the core of Jewish identity ever since. The Jewish collective functions on two levels, as family and as faith. What strengthened the Jewish family was its sense of destiny, that the Jewish people has an urgent spiritual role to play in the evolution of humanity. Destiny gives meaning to faith. You, the class of 2019, have a tremendous responsibility and a great privilege to take care of one another always, regardless of any conflict, time, and or geographic distance that may challenge your love, compassion, and empathy for one another. As your rally cry proclaims, to move from me to we requires each of you to ensure your spiritual, mental, and physical well-being so that you may be the very best version of yourself and thereby be in service of your 18 brothers and sisters, your families, your community, and the world around you. In closing, class of 2019, I'll make you a promise, just one. In the adventures that lie ahead, you will be challenged. You will struggle. And only you can decide how you will show up, how you will persevere. In this vein, I share the following. An old Cherokee is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, he says to his grandson. It is a terrible fight. It is between two wolves. One is evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. He continued, the other is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. The same fight is going on inside of each and every one of you and all of us. The grandson thought for a moment and spoke up and said to his grandfather, which wolf will win? The old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. So to the class of 2019, continue to feed your souls even amidst the challenges life will present you with that which is good. Mazel tov, kol kavod, and todah rabah. If you'll join me as you're able in rising for the Star Spangled Banner.
Please be seated. I welcome to the Bema, Rabbi Noah. It's a pleasure to be here as a rabbi in our community and as a parent of Milwaukee Jewish Day School children who are at the beginning of their journey. The Talmud asks the questions, why are the words of Torah like fire? And the Talmud answers, a fire is built by many logs, and the words of Torah survive only through many minds. We are here today to celebrate the many minds that bring light to the Milwaukee Jewish Day School community and this graduating class, caring parents, inspiring educators, and enthusiastic students. At the end of this time of learning and on the eve of what is to come, we may celebrate what was learned, we may be eager to explore new horizons, but we may also be awed by all of the learning and the profound changes we have experienced and those yet to come. In every moment of transition, it gives, us, gives rise to the opportunity for sacred words. When we study, and rather when the study was completed in Rabbi Ami's school, students would say to each other the following, may you see your world in your lifetime. May your eyes sparkle with the light of the Torah and your faces shine like the brilliance of the heavens. May you speak words of wisdom and may the deeds of righteousness you do fill your body with joy. And may your feet hurry to hear the words of the Ancient One who sets the cycles in motion. Let us say, Amen. Mazel tov to all of you. Erev Tov and Bruchim Habayim. Good evening and welcome. My name is Aaron Littman and I am honored to serve as head of school of Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Thank you, Rabbi Cherkov, for welcoming us, and thank you, Cantor Berman, for hosting us this evening. Tonight, I am privileged to celebrate these 19 unique and wonderful students who exemplify why MJDS exists. Before addressing our graduates, I would like to recognize the powerful vision, commitment, and love that made MJDS possible. 37 years ago, in the basement of the former Congregation Emanuel Building, Founding Director Doris Schneidman and teachers Merzi Eisenberg and Kathy Wolkenstein welcomed the first 11 children to the Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Doris and Merzi are here tonight, along with Staff Emeritus Judy Havis and former heads of school Brian King and Cheryl Primico. There may be other Staff Emeritus in the room that I did not notice. Please rise and be recognized. I'm thankful for the following people who choose to volunteer their time to ensure the continued success of our school. To all of our parent volunteers and to the MJDS PTO for all of your hard work and a special thanks to PTO co-presidents Samar Shapiro and Megan Katch for their incredible service to our school community this year. Thank you to the MJDS Board of Directors and our community of donors for your deep commitment to our school, our future growth, and continued success. I'm also grateful for the families of our graduates. You committed to a school that provided academic excellence and developed strong Jewish identity for your treasures, your children. You trusted us and partnered with us, and that journey has led to this night and these phenomenal young people. Thank you for believing in us. I would like to recognize our graduating families, those who, as of tonight, will no longer have a student at MJDS. Although your children will now be in high school, you're always welcome and encouraged to actively engage as alumni parents. Hint, hint. <laughs> Shannon and Nathan Bernstein. Karen, oh, if you guys would hold your applause, my bad. Thank you. Shannon and Nathan Bernstein. Karen and Jason Gottlieb. Sharon and Mike Grinker. Linda Guten Gale and David Scott Gale. Risa Berg Iskandarsa and Riz Iskandarsa, Jeanette Joseph and Mark Youngers, Leandria and John Lamberton, Wendy Hasse, Melina and David Marcus, Risa Hoffman and Bruce Shushman, and Andrea Taxman.
And finally, to the MJDS staff who pour their heart and souls into our students, families, and community. You exemplify our mission, core values, and beliefs every single day. Would all staff members please rise to be recognized. Finally, to our graduates, can't really, so you know, I'm talking to you guys, okay? Um, I've witnessed your amazing growth as learners, as leaders, as empathetic humans. I've experienced your passion for Judaism, for, Tino, for Tikkun Olam, and for moving our school and community mindset from me to we. Carry this growth forward as you step into the next chapter of life. Continue to take risks in your learning, to stand up and speak out against injustice, and to be proud and knowledgeable of your past, present, and future as Jewish Americans. Stay connected to your classmates, teachers, and our school. You are about to become MJDS alumni, and our love for and commitment to you is never ending. Mazel tov to you, the class of 2019. Thank you, and now I invite our terrific Dean of Students, Jory Brody, to the podium. Good evening. Tonight is about the wonderful 19 kids behind me, but before them were many other MJDS alumni and for former students. Can I ask all alumni that are here today to please rise? And now, it is my privilege to introduce our graduates. Tonight, the class will be speaking in four sections. We ask that you please hold your applause until the last group has finished and all students have spoken. A sense of guidance, a passion for Judaism, a love of community, overall menchiness. These were all some quality traits that I have picked up during my 10 year stay at Milwaukee Jewish Day School. This school has given me so much that I could not fully explain in the time that I have here. I love this school so dearly for what it has taught me. I remember specifically when I participated in my first mitzvah day in sixth grade, I was so proud of my school for working something as moving and as meaningful into the curriculum, making a full day of giving back to the community. I'm so thankful for what my teachers have taught me ever since I was a little kid. While I always find it unimportant at the time, Looking back at what my teachers have taught me and what they're teaching the current MJDS youth, I realize how influential this school has been on my character. I know that while I cannot stay at MJDS forever, I'd really like to, <laughs> but I have to move on and I cannot come back. To repay my debt, I need to take what I have learned and apply it out into the world. One of MJDS's core values is tikkun olam, helping to repair the world. I've learned a lot of things, but the most important wasn't math, history, science, or English. It was the skills that I have picked up at MJDS. Toda avor koma shasitem bishvili. Goodbye, MJDS. You can never truly understand something until you have experienced it. Until you go to Israel and watch the sunrise over Masada, you won't understand how much it impacts your life. 
Just like your bar bat mitzvah, you, you can't really understand the work and dedication you need to spend on it until you go through the process. The best example of this is the act of praying. When you're little, you learn the reasons behind facing east when you're singing the Baruch Hu or singing the Tefillot. You learn songs and prayers, and they're just fun to sing and dance to at Shabbat Sing, but ultimately, they're just words in a book. During my time at, during my time at MGDS, I've learned about the Kotel and its history. I learned how to chant Torah and sing Hatikva, but I never really connected to what I was learning. Then I went to Israel. I experienced things that were unbelievable. I went to Jerusalem and touched the wall for the first time. Not to sound cheesy, but it was an emotional experience. I also floated in the famous Dead Sea. When you see pictures of people floating there, you cannot believe you're actually, you can actually float so much that if you go deep enough, you can stand straight up without the, and not touch the bottom and having your shoulders still above water. But it's true, it's an unbelievable experience that I will never forget. MGDS lo rak natan li klinuk tov hu gam haya kamo mishpacha vishvili. MGDS did not just give me a great education, it gave me a family. MGDS made it possible to experience what, I, what we learned about. It gave me great friends to share these experiences with. I'm going to miss MGDS, and I know that I wouldn't be who I am today without everything that MGDS has given me. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for forcing me to come to MGDS. <laughs> if you hadn't, I wouldn't have had these amazing friends, teachers, and experiences to hold with me for the rest of my life. I also want to thank Rip Milbeck, Rip Har, and Gerard Essa Greenberg for everything you have done for me over these years. Everyone at MGDS was lucky, lucky to have learned from you, and our school won't be the same without you. I'm, I will miss all these amazing teachers here as well. I'm scared for the future, but I know that you have prepared me for all that life will throw at me. Thank you. My time at MJDS was rough, with me getting sent to the office almost every day. <laughs> I really struggled with believing in myself, but I feel like I've grown so much over the past years. The number one skill I've gained from MJDS is self-confidence. I've not always had confidence, but confidence was lurking somewhere inside of me. I gained this skill from two specific situations. First was last year in the MJDS musical. When I first found out I got the lead part, I was really angry. Why would they select me? I never wanted to be the center of attention during the play, only during class. I thought that if I was the lead, I wouldn't remember my lines and I wouldn't perform well. This was due to a lack of confidence. So many people around me wanted to help me. And once I realized I could do it, I was on fire. The end product really surprised me because I didn't think I could do it. I'll be certain to look back on this time and be thankful for the confidence I've gained. While in Israel, there was a second experience that helped me. We hiked in a beautiful nature reserve in the desert. We had an option partway through to continue on the quite challenging hike or go back to the air-conditioned bus. I decided to continue on, even though I was out of breath and sweating bullets. It was the hardest but most accomplished hike I've ever done. Hundreds of stairs, then a blistering ladder, and a hundred more stairs and one more blistering ladder. And it was over. The view was the best view I've ever witnessed in my whole life. A desert valley glistening with plant life and a cooling river with birds and insects flying left and right. I did it, a hike I never thought was possible. The only things that I really needed were water, sunscreen, risk taking, and a whole lot of confidence. After that one hike, I felt like I was on top of the world and I could do anything if I just believe in myself and be confident. Hagorem hachi chashuv lahatzlecha who be tachonat me? La amin se ata yahol, la amin se magia lecha, ve la amin set 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 tasig et ze. The strongest factor for success is self esteem. Believing you can do it, believing you deserve it, and believing you'll get it. Ha hist agnut, he mechuyevit, ha metziut, ha hit bagrut, he bechira. Growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. I came to MJDS in sixth grade, and after being here for three years, I can say I have grown as a person. 
I grew and changed into the kindness, which is school values as much as is academics. The experiences at MJDS help kids learn important values. This includes participating in Mitzvah Day, the seventh grade social studies project, where we pick a world problem and try to solve it, and all the time we have gone to St. Ben's. I've learned to be grateful for all I have, family, friends, and safety. And I've learned not everyone is as lucky as me. I will definitely take the skill of Dakun alum into my, into my high school and adult life. I have been able to grow as a student through the endless support I get from all my teachers. Students are not always provided with the help they need, when and if it's needed. Here I met with the endless support from every single one of my teachers. Not only did my grades get better, but my confidence in learning has also grown. I have also been able to grow as a Jew by going to Israel and all the Hebrew and Jewish studies classes we have. I can definitely say that I've grown as a Jewish person. Not only is my connection with the Jewish state grown, but by being at MJDS, I have been given the opportunity to explore my religion and question it with the continuous support from my teachers around me. Thank you for my, to my family for providing me with this life-changing learning experience. Senior kindergarten, new school, new beginning, new me. Even though I had a few friends entering MJDS with me, the feeling of loneliness and fear was constantly taking over my mind. To my relief, this feeling didn't last long. I was instantly surrounded by caring classmates and teachers who made sure that I felt comfortable and safe. This only continued throughout the years to come. Suddenly, I began to notice a pattern. First, I was welcomed in. Then I watched as others were welcomed in, until finally I was the welcomer. This was the first of many things MJDS taught me. Treat others how you want to be treated. I was starting to feel like less of part of a school and more like part of a family. Third through fifth grade was a new chapter of my MJDS experience. People left our school, yet also many new people came. We had a new grade and it felt very different. By now, we also had new friends outside of school and didn't depend on each other as much. We had to focus more on academics to prepare for middle school as well. While school still felt like a large community, the feeling of wanting to succeed and achieving things on my own started to affect me. This is when I was taught that success depends on its second letter, and your mindset affects the way you learn. Middle school. I was expecting the same scene from years before, but with a little more work. Oh boy, was I wrong. Relationships changed, not only with classmates, but with teachers too. They start to not be as laid back, and they expected only the best work you could give. Living up to these standards was hard, but the environment at MJDS stayed courageous and motivating. Everyone around me kept pushing me to be the best Macy possible. Eighth grade, the last chapter of my MJDS career. Even though it was still my old friends, everyone seemed like a whole new person, with a whole new attitude. Our year was based around preparing for high school, Everyone's mindsets had automatically changed to focus on what I do here will affect me in the future. I was initially scared to leave this safe place, but I slowly started to feel more and more ready, realizing that MJDS has already made sure that I have all the skills I need in the future. This is what makes MJDS unique and special. There's no other school that takes the time to work with their students and make sure they understand their school subjects, but are also kind. And I know for sure I wouldn't be the same person standing here today without the life-changing decision my incredible parents made nine years ago today. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I also want to thank my amazing classmates for always being there for me. Shalom Haverim, Villa Hitraot. My family for believing in me and keeping me engaged in school. And my teachers for teaching me not just academics, but the people skills I will use in the future. Lastly, thank you MJDS for teaching me to treat others with kindness, keep an open mindset, practice tikkun olam, and finally, to never change who I am for anybody or anything.
For show and tell in second grade, my sister and her class were asked to bring in something that was special to them and talk about it. All the kids had different things in mind, stuffed animals or pictures or other small objects. But in Gabby's case, a brand new baby sister, me. So there I was, a tiny one-year-old baby being thrown around by little second graders. Little did I know I would end up in the same school with some of the same teachers just three years later. And thank God for that, because I met some of the best people. Fast forward a lot of years. Seven years ago, in May of 2012, I stood by the star door as I watched my sister Gabby walk off the bus after her eighth grade Israel trip. I've always watched eagerly as my two sisters experienced the milestones of MJDS and then followed closely behind in their footsteps. Two weeks ago, I stepped off the bus coming back from my class's Israel trip. All the things I heard from them are true. Best falafel and shawarma I'll ever have. The hikes are hard, but very worth it. Floating in the Dead Sea is not a myth, and you make some amazing memories. It was an extraordinary way to conclude my time at MJDS. Back to 2012, I remember standing in Beth Israel as an impatient first grader while my sister read her speech. It's crazy to think, seven years later, and here I stand, it's finally my turn. Throughout the past 10 years that I have spent at MJDS, I have followed in my sister's footsteps, but also paved my own path. They've influenced me by teaching me to do what is right, to be kind, a good friend, and to always do my best. But I also learned to become my own person. Being at MJDS has also helped me do this, try new things, ask questions, and think differently. My teachers and peers have made me who I am. Mom and Dad, thank you for sending me to this amazing school. If it weren't for you, if it weren't for you, I would not have met some of my lifelong friends. Thank you for supporting me in everything I do and teaching me everything I know. I hope I'm as cool as you guys when I'm older. <laughs> to my classmates, thank you for being there for me every step of the way. Israel would not have been as fun without each of you. One last thank you to MJDS. I have learned some of the most valuable lessons in my time here. My teachers taught me how to fail the right way, first attempt in learning, and how to incorporate Tikkun Olam into my everyday life. Expect many visits, so thank you for making me the best I can be. Zalo Pashut Shalom, Zamamash Lahitra Oat. Thank you so much for coming today. I am so thankful for all of your love and support. Today, I am going to talk to you about me leaving MJDS and going into a new school in a new state. When coming to this school in the second grade, I was one of the smallest kids. I thought that I was going to be bullied because I was small. Turns out, everyone was so kind. Throughout the many years I have been here, I have learned so many phenomenal skills. This summer, when moving to Las Vegas, Nevada, I will be taking all of those skills with me and using them out in the big real world. I am looking forward to high school next year, and I will use my organization skills and I will use my annotation skills when I am stuck. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to come to this school. I am happy and sad when leaving MJDS in Wisconsin. I am happy because I get to live in another state and have new experiences and meet new people. Without the past years at MJDS, I am not sure I would be as prepared as I am today. I am sad because I am going to be leaving all of my friends. I'm going to miss all the relationships that I have formed over the years in the halls of MJDS. Hey, but isn't that what social media is for? I am going to miss all of you, and yes, I will come back to visit, and maybe you can come visit me. Toda shihik shavtem. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Leah, and first off, wow. When I look at how MJDS has changed me, it blows my mind. From coming into junior kindergarten and being scared to go to the other side of the room alone, to sitting in these chairs singing for the past few years' graduations in fifth grade, all the way to standing here at Congregation Shalom, and graduating after 10 years of MJDS. In life, the things that go wrong are often the very things that lead to other things going right. Through my 10 long years at MJDS, I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Looking back from then to now is eye-opening. When I first came to MJDS, I didn't know where anything was or how anything worked. Now, I know where to go and when we want to say 
perhaps take a bathroom break, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, thank you to all these people who have made me who I am today and failed with me through these 10 long years. In fourth grade, I remember hearing how failure stands for first attempt in learning. And I thought to myself, how on earth is failing an attempt in learning when you actually just have to tell your parents you got an F? Well, let me explain how that thought has changed through these four years when somebody fails, it's the thought that's actually failing and not how you acted. For example, if you mess up on a project that you are worried about, just take a breath and start again. That's how you learn from your mistakes. There were times in math when I failed the test. But then I got to do practice and then study in my math journal. When I retook the test, I always improved, even if it was just by a few skills. This proves that failure can actually be your best teacher. Thank you to all of the teachers who have helped me learn that failing is okay and to never give up. A huge thank you to my parents who made the best decision to send me here to MJDS, because honestly, I have no clue how I, would, how I would have survived in a public school. Also, I would like to thank all my classmates for dealing with me and failing with me through these 10 years. No human ever became interesting by not failing. The more you fail and recover and improve, the better you are as a person. We know what we are, but not what we may be. This quote is from Hamlet, a play by Shakespeare. During my MJDS career, especially during my eighth grade year, I've learned what I'm truly capable of. I have always been a very cautious person and well aware of my, com and well aware of my comforts and limitations. MJDS has taught me how to deal with experiences that I may not feel so comfortable with. I can confidently say that this best applies to my eighth grade year. Reflecting back on sixth grade, we had the sixth grade retreat. We all thought we were so cool because we were away from home for one night. <laughs> Little did we know what was in store for us the following years. Next up was seventh grade, which flew by. Hearing about the many experiences, such as the bike trip and Israel from the grade above me created lots of suspense, leading up to my final year at MJDS. Finally, eighth grade arrived, the year I've heard so much about. First came the bike trip. Wow, I biked 85 miles. My fourth grade self would not have believed I could accomplish such a challenging task, although I did, and thank God, came back alive. <laughs> Better yet, I came back with a stronger sense of confidence and motivation. As soon as we began learning with the Don't Cats about Israel, we had a daily countdown until our Israel trip, the ultimate MJDS experience. This is the event that every MJDS student looks forward to. While in Israel, I did several activities I never would have considered before. This called for going out of my comfort zone, maybe even more than I would have wanted to. I was exposed to my fears and had to find ways to work through them. As I mentioned in my Israel blog post, I learned the valuable lesson of the greater the challenge, the prouder of yourself you feel once it is accomplished. Every year I watch the eighth graders return from the bike trip and Israel. I'm so thankful I got to experience those events for myself. I will be sure to tell my children, God willing grandchildren, about my adventures and memories, hoping someday they will be able to make some for themselves. Through my MJDS journey, every teacher and staff member has been extremely supportive of me, and for that, I couldn't be more grateful. Through my challenges and concerns, they were only understanding and patient with me. As I say goodbye to MJDS, I will always keep the valuable lessons that I learned close to my heart. This applies when dealing with challenging situations and coping with them with the attitude I had in Israel. Chazak, chazak, benit chazek. Hit kadem mehatzlacha, achat lehatzlacha, gaboa yoter. From strength to strength, progress from one success to another higher level of success. I came to MJDS in seventh grade. I was really nervous, but also really excited. I was nervous because I left a place that wasn't working for me and came to a place that was almost completely new to me. I mean, I used to visit. Other than that, I had no idea how MJDS would be. I was also nervous because I didn't know if any of these kids would like me. I knew a few of them before, but I was still unsure. I was also really excited because whenever I visited, I wanted to keep coming back because I had so much fun at school. Now, I was excited to see these kids again and actually get to know them as my classmates. I don't even really remember my first day because it feels like it was 10 years ago. 
I feel like I've been at this school my whole life. I mostly just remember everyone introducing themselves to me and being surprisingly not as shy as I usually am. This school has completely changed me, and it's crazy how a small school can make a big impact on a person's whole life. Now I stand here, graduating two years later. MJDS has given me many skills and lessons for my upcoming years in high school and college. For example, before MJDS, I would never have been able to speak up for myself or ask questions. I never felt confident enough. Today, I'm standing here at my actual graduation, actually speaking in front of a bunch of people. I can say that I've definitely gained a lot more confidence. Another great lesson MJDS has taught me is I'm capable of choosing my own path. Here, I can choose what I read, what invention to design, and create my own final projects. This helped me believe in myself. Thank you so much for everyone that has helped me through this amazing experience. Teachers, classmates, and my parents. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, Sabina, and Tom, for letting me go here and choosing this totally different and amazing school. Each time we face our pachad, fear, we gain koach, strength, omets, courage, and bitachon, atzmi, confidence in the doing. You might think that, I'm beca that because I'm a part of a class of 19 kids, it'd be hard to make friends outside of school. 19 kids living in a bubble with just each other, they wouldn't be able to talk to others because they're just used to being with each other. That wasn't the case for me though. MJDS helped me make friends and develop strong relationships. My school was different than other kids' schools and they wanted to know about my life. Being at the school shaped me and what others think about me. Something I've heard a couple times is, oh, you go to MJDS, you must be smart. Or, oh, you go to MJDS, I know someone there. When the latter happens, that's normally how I make, connect, make a connection with someone else. MJDS helped me know myself so that I could make close friends. For example, when I started Lady Night Softball, I only knew one other person. When I mentioned that I went to MJDS, other girls made the connection that they knew someone there. Some of those girls became my closest friends, and I will continue to be friends with them into high school. Because many of my friends aren't Jewish, I have to explain Judaism to them and some of the things that we do at MJDS that are unique to our school. In a way, this experience brings me closer to them and my Judaism because I'm sharing my religion with them and teaching them about something that makes me who I am. Being at this school also impacted my connection with my family. Three people in my family graduated from the school, soon to be four. At my cousin's bat and bar mitzvahs, I participated by either reading from the Torah or reading the blessing beforehand. I can also tell stories about my school because it's so different than most others. I know I'm more prepared for high school because I went here. I know how to communicate with my teachers if I need help. I also know how to talk with my peers and how to be efficient with work. I know that I need to work hard for what I want, and MJDS really taught me that. MJDS taught me that I cannot be silent about things that are important to me and that my opinion matters. This school made me who I am because I learned how to share things about me that can help others understand who I am and what I believe in. Ani adain ihiya talmidat amjidias mechutz levet hasefer. Dragged out of our hotel at 4 a.m., hiking straight up, the journey, one of the first to get there. All of us were confident, but worried that might be hard, and it was hard. The heat beating down on our back. At some point, we all thought about giving up, but we never did. Some finished fast and some took their time, but there was no doubt that everyone had accomplished something great that day. Just like everything in Israel, we worked hard, and the outcome was amazing. Whether it's hiking up Masada or taking time to play with little kids seeking asylum, we became different people after the Israel trip. We learned no matter how hard a situation is, if you push through, 
the, the ending will be totally worth it. As we move to a different chapter in our lives, we will carry this lesson the whole way. Because of MJDS, we have lifelong friendships with Israeli kids our age. Because of MJDS, we will understand our spiritual connection to Israel more. Because of MJDS, we know people need to critically read the news and be suspicious of media reports about Israel. Throughout this K-8 journey, our classmates have cared for one another no matter the situation. From giving a pep talk on Masada to helping a friend clean the room before we leave for our next city. Of the 10 years I have attended MJDS, I've been through ups and downs, but there was not a moment throughout this journey where my classmates have not helped me through. I know a lot of us are done and ready to move on to high school, but our grade has always been close, but in Israel we truly grew into a family. Going to Israel with these 17 people was the most magnificent trip of my life. We will never forget Israel or the many years we went to this amazing school. Im hasha ifot tocha lo maspikot givohot, ata lo mechaven gavoa maspik. It was 2008. I sat down in Gavert Wolf's junior kindergarten class for lunch. After unpacking my lunch, I started to break the hard boiled egg that my mom conveniently packed me just to realize that it was not hard boiled at all. I had gotten raw egg all over my clothes. Every single year in the hallway since then, Gavert Wolf has told the story of me, Tali Dolly, as the girl who broke her hard boiled egg. <laughs> Growing up at this school has given me many academic and social resources, which helped to shape the student I am today. Every year has had its highlights, but every single grade at MJDS has had a different tradition, which makes it special from ice skating in first grade to the Israel trip two weeks ago. It's the little things that make everyone's MJDS experience unique and different. Looking at the younger grades experiencing those MJDS milestones gives me a sense of leadership. It is now my job to teach and help the lower grades. Growing up with most of my friends has only made us closer. Some of us have been through the whole MJDS experience together. From being scared about having real lockers instead of cubbies, to seeing new classmates come and go. The class of 2019 has formed a true community. Whether you have been here for 10 years or one, our grade knows how to welcome in new classmates and cherish old memories with old time friends. Thank you to my parents who made the decision to send me to this school. You were here every step of this experience, even though I know it was hard for you to send me to Israel. You have supported me through my K-8 through journey and taught me to embrace the community we're in. You have been role models and demonstrated the true meaning of leadership and hard work. MJDS turns their students into leaders, but I learned from both of you first. When people ask me about my school, I'm proud to explain what the MJDS, what the Milwaukee Jewish Day School's values are. Over the years, MJDS has given me the strength to defend my religion and the tools to back it up with facts. I have learned that independence does not mean you decide the way you want. It means you lead others in the right direction. Aloha and shalom. Hello and goodbye. I have had one of the best years of my life when I transitioned to MJDS, which was, in my opinion, one of the best changes that I made to my life. I have gone through some hard things these two years prior, so now standing here at the end of middle school, I have to say, I am so proud of myself for making it this far. As a wise man once said, life has little blips and moments. Those moments do not define who you are. They are little blips that happen, and eventually they pass. When they pass, you are going to feel better. But it takes time, so let's take it at your pace and see how it, this works out. This wise man who gave me this advice was my father, who has been one of the many who surprisingly stood with me for the years of pain in my life, along with my mom, my sister, and my late dog and grandfather. My friends this year have not done anything to make me feel sad, and to that, I am grateful for them. Um, we survived the bike trip and the last year of middle school, and to them I say thank you, and please keep in touch. To conclude this speech with a joke, I want to quote one more person. Hello. Oh, wait, no. Now, this may not make any sense to you, but it does to me. Hello, my name is Cliff. Drop over sometime.
remember getting ready for my first graduation from first grade. It was seven o'clock at night and I hid under my parents' bed, procrastinating from having to read my speech in front of my peers the next morning. All I wanted to do was cry. I was so scared. My parents made me confess what my issue was and had me call my teacher. I stayed up late practicing my lines on the phone with my teacher and we made a compromise. She promised to be up there the whole time so I could just wave her over and she'd be by my side. That's how it was pretty much through my whole academic career. I needed a lot of assistance. Don't be afraid to ask for help. No one's going to judge you for being a good student and a growing learner. I wouldn't be where I am today without the teachers in my life to guide me along the, my way. By the way, you don't have to be a certified teacher to teach young kids and people of any age good life lessons. To be honest, for a good portion of the beginning of my life, I wasn't the best reader and I still struggle with this today. When I was younger, I was more concerned with having fun and living life than having a grade. School was my greatest enemy, AKA math and reading. Then I met Gerard O'Connor. I appreciated her so much, so much for helping me then, and tr I truly know the value of her help standing here today. She had so much passion and love for helping kids, at least I hope she liked it. Honestly, when I was younger, I never thought I'd be at the same level as everyone else. I always felt bad seeing the reading group split up and felt embarrassed when I walked out of the room to get extra help. I always believed I was too dumb for what we were learning. Now I know and believe we're all smart in different ways. It's true. In the past, when I've gone frustrated and didn't understand, even after asking for help, I often overreacted and felt like a bit of a failure. Standing here today proves everything happens for a reason and I have proven myself I can do it. Even though there are going to be ups and downs, I'm really excited to move on to high school next year. I'm excited to meet new people, create new bonds of all kinds. Sorry, Dad, just kidding. I'm excited for BYO, I'm excited for new places, and to expand my knowledge on what I already enjoy studying. I'm so thankful for all the opportunities I've been provided with while living in Milwaukee. I can't make this speech too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give the thank yous. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for supporting me and providing me with all I need. Also, Dad, I don't like being called princess, but I'll give you a pass. <laughs> Chelsea, oi, I love you. And um, Trevor, if you're here, treat her well. Joe, I don't know, hi, I guess. Please don't, <laughs> please don't try to be like the crowd. Learn to stand out and be your own person. Friends, thank you so much for always being by my side, listening to my rants, and helping me through tough times. I'll always be here for you guys. Here are some final words. Lola Kahat El Chaim Muvanim Me'elehem Chaim Rakpam Achat Az Kidai Lenaso Devarim Hadashim Kize Yoter Tov Lenaso Vulai Lahit Chared Ma'asher Lo Lenaso Bichlal. Don't take life for granted. I mean, you only get one, might as well make the best of it. And don't take anything for granted. Take chances and have no regrets. It's better to do something and regret it than rather than not and regret it. Anyways, Ava Antonov, 1206.04, here to stay, 2019, MJS, signing out. See you later. I haven't even started my speech yet, and my pants are already crying. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. How am I supposed to start this speech? By saying things like, thank you for coming to this very special occasion, or MGDS has taught me so much these past nine years. Even if those two things are true, how about I start at the beginning? The very beginning. 14 years, two months, and 12 days ago, my mom, Andrea Lynn Taxman, gave birth to a slimy ball of cuteness. And what's the first thing she does with me? Throw me onto Carl Jewish Community Campus. I started daycare at Jewish Beginnings when I was only weeks old, with more Rachel as my first teacher. Rachel was also Sidra's first teacher, and the two of us have been great friends since. There's a picture of us sitting on Rachel's lap. I'm crying, and Sidra's wearing sushi pants and is asleep. And I like the joke that nothing has changed. <laughs> Jewish Beginnings is where I also met more Jill. Jill was, and is, a tall, blonde, gum-chewing gum teacher who knew how to make homemade ice cream. And if you're wondering, more Jill is now Voris. 
Mm -hmm. Did you know I was never meant to stay at MGDS this long? My mom knew plenty of my friends from Jewish beginnings were going to MGDS, such as Sidra, Macy, and Ezra. So she thought I could stay with my friends for a bit until she found a place for me to continue my education. Nine years later, my mom still hasn't found a place for me to go to school. <laughs> See, senior kindergarten was a year of fun, no homework and snack time. First grade was a year of challenges, learning how to read. Second grade it was a year of strength, me having a goal and going great lengths to reach it. Third grade was a year of friendship, meeting two of my now good friends who helped me through the rest of MGDS. Fourth grade was a year of ease, as it felt like it was the fastest year at school. Now fifth grade. Fifth grade was a year of change. Jill helped me on Tuesdays and Thursdays with my work, helping us build a bond that would continue through middle school. Fifth grade was my last year of lower school. In fifth grade, I built my confidence in math. In fifth grade, I found my voice, making contributions in class after years of barely raising my hand. In fifth grade, my grades got higher, courtesy of Gavir Kimmel, who I named one of my pets after. <laughs> Sixth grade was a year of fresh starts, meeting a handful of new teachers who helped me along the way. And using the changes from fifth, I went flying headfirst into middle school. Seventh grade was hard, period. <laughs> Eighth grade was a year of opportunity. Last year at MGDS, a chance to change things from how they were last year. Even though there were a couple bumps along the way, I made it all the way to Israel. Thank you to Gavir O'Connor, Gavir Petrova, my dad, and my second family, the Davises, for pushing me along the way and helping me become the person I am today. Through all the laughing, through the never-ending never chattering and the arguments, this building has changed me. For better, for, your, for worse, I'm not yet sure. So even though there have been, um, been more than plenty of challenges, I guess I can say thank you to my mom for never finding a new school for me. <laughs> Tir U. This eighth grade year has been the perfect wrapping up of my MJDS journey. From learning to read and write in senior kindergarten to exponential decay in eighth grade, this school has truly made me the student I am today. Life at MJDS has brought me closer to my classmates and my teachers. I have formed friendships with some of the most amazing people, and I hope dearly to carry these friendships with me throughout my life. My teachers taught me to take my time and be persistent inside and outside of my schoolwork. They have also prepared me for the next part of my journey, high school. My life at MJDS has also given me my own core values, such as sympathy, persistence, and open-mindedness. I will also carry these values into the next chapter of my student career and beyond. I was very lucky to have been brought into the MJDS community, and I really hope I can find time to come back and visit often. Zot Hamish Bachashali, this class truly has become my second family. Will Smith once said, light your life on fire and surround yourself with people that fan your flames. While I haven't found my fire yet, MJDS most certainly has surrounded myself with people that fan my flames. Also, Rick Heimers, I might need a ride home. <laughs> Hello, my name is Shayna, and I came to MJDS in eighth grade. About a week or so after my bat mitzvah, my parents told me that we would be moving to Milwaukee. I was devastated. I couldn't believe that I would be leaving my friends, my school, and where I grew up. I was scared and not ready for the unknown. Deerfield Public Schools District 109 was where I attended school since kindergarten. I just couldn't believe that my journey at DPS was ending one year before I was supposed to graduate. Knowing that I was moving, I shadowed at Lakeshore, and of course here, the Milwaukee Jewish Day School. After I shadowed here, I knew that this school was perfect for me. Everyone was so accepting, and my classmates welcomed me in like I had been here forever. I'm extremely grateful that I moved here because I've had so many opportunities. Coming here, I was nervous because DPS's standards were very different. I was scared that I was going to be behind, but I was also scared that I was going to be too far ahead. Good news, I was fine. <laughs> if I was ahead, the teachers accommodated and found something for me to do. If I was behind, I was able to have one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher. I was so worried about leaving, I never considered all the opportunities I'd gain. If I stayed at DPS, I wouldn't have had a tour buddy. I wouldn't have experienced the Shinshin program, 
and I wouldn't have been able to form the relationships I have with my classmates and my teachers. I wouldn't have been able to go to SLBC, and I definitely would not have been able to go to Israel. Going to Israel was one of, if not, the greatest experience of my life. I am so glad that I moved here and got to be a and got to be a part of so many great things, such as Israel and SLBC. MJDS taught me many life lessons that I will take with me forever. MJDS also gave me new relationships that I will take with me for a long, long, long time. MJDS made me a better friend and a better human being. I was really taught the importance of empathy, tikkun olam, and wonder for the first time. And although it is really cringy to hear the teacher say it over and over, those three values are really important for being a decent human being. Leaving DPS 109 and coming to MJDS was one of the things that has made me who I am today. Without this experience, I definitely would not be the same person you see standing here right now. And I would like to leave you all with one more thing. Kanzabite, Kanzalev. Thank you. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Noah, back at it again with another vlog. It is currently year one, junior kindergarten. I'm having an amazing time with my tour buddy, Engbert Wolf. Everyone is so welcoming and kind. Yo, what's up? Colin Atcher from senior kindergarten. I... Said a lot, so my boys Levi, Gilbert, Lehman are keeping me hiding. I'm having loads of fun. With my book buddy David. from first grade. We went to this awesome farm. We even got to milk cows. We also were <laughs> <laughs> on the ice at Red Arrow. Meanwhile, in second grade, we had our own class town. We got to make our own houses. I was with Olivia. Second grade really brought out the inner adult in me. <laughs> hop, hop, yo, I'm a kangaroo. Welcome to third grade, my all-time favorite folk for a year, Australia. We studied and learned all about life in Australia. We also got to make our own didgeridoos and boomerangs. We even got to study our own Australian animal. Yo, 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 coming at you from fourth grade. We went to Old World, Wisconsin and played these really cool games with big rings and sticks. It was so fun. One week, we only had four kids because everyone else was sick, so we watched Barbie Life in the Dream House. <laughs> yo, big dots coming in, fifth grade. Our two classes merged into one for the first time since kindergarten. Our teacher was gone for maternity leave for most of the year, so we had subs for a while. It was still really fun. We also went rollerblading at Skateland. Attention, welcome to middle school. The start of middle school is really fun. Long study halls and food from Kaufman, plus eating lunch with the oldest kids. In sixth grade, we also headed over to Rainbow Day Camp for a one night sleepover, which was pop, pop, poppin'. What up, repelling down at you from seventh grade. We did so many fun things. I don't think I could choose just one to talk about. From designing and building a sukkah to making tie blankets for women and children in need, seventh grade really brought out the empathy to kun alam and wonder in us all. Four score and seven years ago, or at least it feels like that, the beginning of eighth grade. In the fall, the bike trip. In the winter, starting Jewish studies with the dumb cats. And finally, in the spring, one of the best experiences of my life, the annual eighth grade trip to the wonderful Israel. Israel was amazing. We truly became Shevet Achim Ve'achayot.
Hello, everyone. This year in Jewish Studies with the Dome Cats, we were introduced to a song called Shevet Achim Ve'achayot. This song quickly became our class favorite. We sang it on the bus nonstop, and we sang it with the kids at Jaffa Institute. In Noah R's speech, he spoke the words, Shevet Achim Ve'achayot. These words come from the chorus of the song. In my speech, I said, Kan Zabayit Kan Zalev, which also comes from the chorus. This song is in Hebrew, and you may not know what it means, but the chorus is very powerful. Kan Zabayit Kan Zalev, Ve'otach al Noazev, Avoteinu Shorashim, Ve'enachnu Habrachim, Aman Ginot, Shevet Achim Ve'achayot. Here is home, here is the heart, and from you I'll not depart. Our forefathers are roots, and we are the flowers, the tunes, a tribe of brothers and sisters. Now, please enjoy the class of 2019 singing Shevet Achim Ve'achayot, written by Idan Reich. Shivim shana vanechoni, ani no seya umavi. Thank you. 
Now, it is an honor and a pleasure to present diplomas to this year's graduates. Please hold your applause until all graduates have been recognized. Ava Antonoff. Mason Lamberton. Shana Bilski. <laughs> Sidra Iskandarsa. <laughs> Jessica Marcus. Olivia Fox. <laughs> Levi Gottlieb. <laughs> Leah Rake. Sam Taxman. <laughs> Noah Rickheimer. <laughs> Noah Bernstein. Ethan Lichty. Bastion Guten Gale. Talia Bernstein. Ezra Grinker. Logan Shushman. <laughs> Sophie Schrader. <laughs> Julia Youngers. Harry Edelstein. <laughs> I now present to you the class of 2019 57-79. Although we are here this evening to celebrate the accomplishments of these wonderful graduates, many of whom have been at our school for 10 years from junior kindergarten through eighth grade, it has been our tradition and tonight it's my pleasure to acknowledge staff members who, is, who have also been a part of the MJDS family for many years. This year, we are honoring three very special people. First, for our 10-year award, we give to our beloved Judaic music specialist, Shabbat Singh leader extraordinaire and one of tonight's leaders in our choir, Wendy Cohn, will you please come forward?
Next is our 18-year award. It is no coincidence that this person is celebrating 18 years with us as he brings life and love to our school. He has taken many of our students on their eighth grade Israel trip, and I know he has a special place in many of our hearts, including this group of graduates behind me. Moshe Katz, please come forward for your 18 years. award is for 25 years of service at MJDS. Unfortunately, I do not believe he's here tonight because there is nothing that Lenny Cass can't do. He's our beloved lower school physical education teacher. He's compassionate and energetic, and he puts a smile on everyone's face every day. He is currently at Rainbow, most likely getting ready as they start camp next week. This year, we're also saying goodbye to some of our fabulous staff members. Jessica Jameer, Yulia Milbeck, and Jessica Borowski will each be taking on new journeys in the fall, and we are sorry to see them go. Additionally, we bid Lahitra Oat to three staff members who have dedicated their careers to the Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Together, these women have provided over 90 years of service to MJDS. We will honor them further tomorrow at our staff luncheon, but we couldn't end tonight without recognizing them. Amy Bahar, Kathy Stangi, and Susan Esther Greenberg, please stand. Thank you. A few announcements before we end our evening. Please, let's thank our wonderful choir, Dever Cohn, Dever Kleinman, and our students. <laughs> Graduates are going to leave first. Please see Dever Peck at the reception to pick up folders containing diploma, grad photo, and mazel grams. A reception will follow, catered by Susan Gray. I invite everyone to please rise for a blessing of our graduates and remain standing. I spoke yesterday at the graduation assembly at school about this week's Torah portion, Bemidbar, where preparing to enter the promised land, the Israelites are counted because every one of them counts. And so tonight, on the brink of graduation, we ask God's blessing on each one of you on the edge of your own promised lands. May you always stand up and be counted. May you always explore the world around you with a sense of wonder, approaching not just school, but life itself with a growth mindset and an excitement to challenge yourselves. May you continue to love learning. May the Jewish identity you have developed at MJDS continue to grow, expand, and envelop you. May you make new friends on every adventure to come, and may you keep the other 18 students who sit beside you tonight as close as they are now, even if and even when they are physically far away. May you remember that the community that surrounds you tonight that surrounded you at yesterday's assembly and for all of your time at MJDS is always here for you. May you let empathy guide you as you stand and take your place, participating in tikkun olam and giving back to this community too. As God has blessed you throughout your years at the Milwaukee Jewish Day School, may God continue to bless you as you approach your next promised land as you stand up and as you are counted in the world of graduates, the MJDS class of 2019. Together we say, Amen. 
And so now I ask God's blessing on all of you in the words of our people that our people have used for generations. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. May God bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panavelecha v'chunecha. May God's face shine upon you and may God always be gracious to you. Isa Adonai panavelecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God lift up God's face to you and may it always bring you peace. And together again we say, Amen. We now invite Cantor Berman to come to the Bima as we join together. Not only as uh, the cantor of this wonderful congregation, but also as a former faculty member and an alumni parent, it is a delight and incredibly an honor to sing this bracha with all of you for this amazing graduation. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehecheanu v'kimanu v'higianu Lazman HaSeh One more time Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shecheanu v'kimanu v'higianu Lazman HaSeh Ah, 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 amen. And as we remain, remain standing for Hatikva. All od alev of Benima Nefesh Yehudi Omiya Ulfa'ateh Mizrach Kadima Ayn Litzion Sophia Od love the tikva tenu, a tikva poch not al paim, li atam chovshi beyat tenu vieret zion virushalayim. Liotam Kofshi Behatse Nuberetzion Dirushalah.